I'm starving because I did a fasted short yoga sesh. Now I'm deliberating what to eat. I think I'm gonna make two breakfasts. One, that's gonna be easy. I think I'm just gonna make a smoothie to hold me over until my next breakfast is ready. And most of the time I have two breakfasts anyways. So I think we're gonna make... So normally I would make a tofu scramble, but I know a lot of people are afraid of soy. Some of the longest living civilizations live off of soy products. But for those people who are still weirded out about tofu, because I know a lot of people are, don't worry, I thought I would never in a million years like tofu. It's so scary. So we are going to make, instead of a tofu scramble, a chickpea omelet with sweet potato cakes. How does that sound? Make a chickpea omelet loaded with vegetables, so it's protein and micronutrient packed, along with sweet potatoes, which have a lot of beta carotene and other important nutrients. Honestly, whenever I make breakfast, or any meal, whenever I cook anything, I kind of wing it. I don't write recipes down until I started this YouTube channel or since I started sharing recipes on my Instagram. I really had to get organized and write down and think about how much of each ingredient I make because I kind of wing it and get lucky and it turns out delicious. Honestly, I've never made a chickpea omelet before, so this should be interesting. Um, but it looks pretty easy. So this will be an adventure. But first things first, I need a smoothie because I need gains and I wanna get majority of my nutrients and calories in in the first half of my day because I'm gonna go to work in a little bit and sometimes I get too busy to have time to eat. So let's go load up. This is what my counter looks like right now. Insanity. We are going to start with the omelet batter with 3 4 cups of chickpea flour, about 3 4 of a cup of non-dairy milk, 2 teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, 2 teaspoons of nutritional yeast, fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric, fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, fourth teaspoon onion powder, fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda, and about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna whisk this together. We want it to be thick like a pancake batter. So I guess we're supposed to let this sit for a few minutes. I would normally avoid using oil uh, in most of my ingredients or most of my recipes, but I'm a little nervous about this omelet. Even though it's a non-stick non pan, I don't want to take any chances. I already water sauteed some vegetables. I personally today used cauliflower that I had left over in the freezer, some onion, jalapeno, 
and a little bit of garlic. And then I have some mushrooms and fresh tomatoes and maybe some more fresh onion on the side because I love onion. Okay, here we go. A little nervous. So I'm gonna pour about half the batter. All right, now I'm gonna add my sauteed vegetables. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this. I'm gonna put a little too much veggies in there. So I'm gonna turn off my skillet because it just cooked super fast. And I'm gonna cover the omelet and let it steam for a couple of minutes. Okay, I think it's been enough time to fully cook through the chickpea batter. I wish you guys could smell my kitchen right now. It smells amazing. So now we're gonna dress up the chickpea omelet. I just grabbed some avocado, cilantro. If you think cilantro tastes like soap, then you can skip this part. I feel sorry for you. And some salsa. I got some of my smoothie left over. All right guys, here's the taste test. I don't even think I've ever had a chickpea omelet before, much less made one. It smells amazing. Had all the right ingredients that you would think would make it taste good. So let's see. Pretty big bite. Dude, tastes like an omelet without the fart taste and smell. I just made a mess already. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how good this turned out. Stoked. I mean, I do believe it. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I think I like this better than the tofu omelet. Mm. Chickpea flour is seriously the best invention. Since I've introduced chickpea flour into my plant-based diet, the options are endless where I can use it. And I love it because it's organic and it's literally just ground up chickpeas. It's crazy. Minimal processing, but whole foods and no added oils or sugars. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a fun one. Oh yeah, so I was gonna make the sweet potato cakes, but I didn't want to jam too much into one video. So just doing the chickpea omelet today. You can find the entire recipe in the description box below. That's where I put the recipes for all my videos. So you can take an easy screenshot and save it while you're cooking. This is large enough, especially with my smoothie. It will hold me over for a while. So if you liked this video, please go subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos, get more updates. There's also a notification bell that will notify your phone anytime I post something new. Like this video, comment if you have any ideas of more, I, I feel like I should do a whole series on chickpea flour, seriously. There's so many things to do with it. But if you have something creative and plant-based to use chickpea flour for, I would love to it. Mm. So I hope I've inspired you to get into the kitchen today. Go out and make it a great day today. It's funny because my mom used to tell me that all the time as a kid. When she dropped me and my sister off at school, she'd say, go make it a great day. And I had never really literally thought about 
what she told us all the time until I was older. And now I'm like, you know what? The day is up to me. I can either make it great or make it crap. I can really make it whatever I want. So go make your day great. You have the power to do so. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Oh yeah, look at that, how cool. One day all this spicy food's gonna catch up to me. I'm gonna get heartburn. I pray it never does. But it's really gonna suck if I have to stop eating spicy food. God, please no.